Chapter 117 of The Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. The Fifth Warning. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 14 to 29. Against the Rejection of God's Son. Chapter 117. Follow after Sanctification. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 follow after peace with all men and the sanctification without which no man shall see the lord the section on patience in tribulation the patience of hope is concluded and there now remains the subject of love and good works it is as if the writer began here what he gives in chapter thirteen but was led into his last warning by the thought of so many who fail in the pursuit of holiness and fall back when the warning is concluded, he returns to his subject in chapter 13. Follow after peace with all men and sanctification. My relation to my fellow men is most intimately one with my relation to God. In the Beatitudes we have mercy and purity following each other. Blessed are the merciful, blessed are the pure in heart. The wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable. Where there is no peace with men, peace with God cannot be enjoyed. Paul writes, If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, be at peace with all men. In our summons to dwell in the holiest, we remember how the call to faith, Let us draw nigh, was at once followed by that to love. Let us consider one another to provoke to love and good works. Follow after sanctification, literally, holy making. We know this word. Holiness is the highest glory of God, and so holy making is the being taken up into his fellowship and being made partakers of his holiness. It is receiving into our nature and character the spirit of that heavenliness and holiness in which he dwells. Follow holy making, without which no man shall see the Lord. Holy making is the spiritual preparation, the inner capacity for meeting the Lord and being at home with Him. The passages in the epistle in which we have already had the word will be our best instruction as to the way in which we are to follow after holiness. He that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. It is Jesus who makes holy. Of God are ye in Him, who is made of God unto us sanctification. It is the living Christ who is our sanctification. The more deeply we enter into his life on earth, his obedience, his doing God's will, his giving himself up to God alone, the more we have this his life abiding in us, the holier shall we be. Holiness is the losing of self and being clothed upon with the spirit and likeness of Jesus. Jesus spake, I come to do thy will, O God, in which will we have been sanctified, by one offering he hath perfected for ever them that are sanctified. The more deeply I enter into the truth, or rather the truth enters into my life, that the sacrifice of Jesus is the crowning act of his perfect surrender to God's will, and giving up everything to be one with it, and that it is in his doing of that will that I have been sanctified, the clearer will my insight grow that holiness is the actual living in the will of God with my will, having the will of God the moving power of my life. Jesus, doing the will of God and sanctifying me in it, has taken me up into it and planted me for ever in it. As I live in living union with it, doing it and rejoicing in it, that holy will becomes my holiness. It was in the doing of God's will and glorifying God thereby that he was prepared for the glory. The heavenly life which he sends down by his Spirit into my heart is a life in which God's will is always and perfectly done. To live in God's will is the true following after sanctification. Having boldness to enter into the holiest, the holiness of holinesses, let us draw nigh. The holiest into which we have been taken in to dwell, and the holiness which is to be our characteristic, are closely linked. There, where God dwells in his holiness, even there is the dwelling of the sanctified one who enters in by faith. There is the place where we are made holy, where the Son who sanctifies, and the will in which we are sanctified, and the presence of the Holy One, 
all are met and known in power he who does not know what it is to enter in and tarry and worship in the holiest to separate himself from the world and its fellowship to hold communion with the holy one will seek in vain by his prayers or efforts to become holy holiness is found nowhere but with god in the holiest of all union with jesus the son who sanctifies us union with the will in which we have been sanctified by loving and doing it union with god himself in the holiest in these is the power of sanctification then comes a fourth thought the son and the will and the presence and the rod of god he chasteneth us for our profit that we may be made partakers of his holiness blessed be god that it is not only in spiritual things that we are to seek our help in the pursuit of holiness but that everything that meets us in providence can help it too there is not a trial or difficulty not a disappointment or vexation but is god's chosen instrument for making us holy our life in jesus in the will of god in the holiest is all one with our life in the body and in the world it became god to perfect his son through suffering the very least of our daily crosses god will use to free us of our self-will to draw us from the world to point us to the example and spirit of jesus follow after sanctification everything in heaven and earth can help you in the pursuit follow after peace with all men and sanctification without which no man shall see the lord seeing the lord what blessedness and what glory to the soul that has once learned to love him as the bride puts on her beautiful garments to meet him she loves and to whom she is to be united the call comes to us to put on our holy garments to array ourselves in the beauty of holiness to meet our lord let our whole heart respond in the prayer lord make me holy that i may be found ready to meet thee when thou comest this sanctification is as much by faith as justification both are received in union with christ the peace of the one and the power of the other are found in the abiding union through an abiding habit of faith follow after the same words as in philippians chapter 3 verses 12 and 14 i press on if that i may apprehend i press on toward the goal it is the thought of the race pressing on after holiness fellowship with god with jesus with god's will end of chapter 117